2.4. Watched it? 2.4 million viewers, yeah. Watched the draft? Uh, broke the previous high of 600,000. They wow. watched it. So I take it that you were Mind you, that record was when Diana got drafted. Who? Diana Taurasi? Mm-hmm. On Wednesday, it was also announced <laughs> that Clark agreed to an endorsement deal with Nike. So the deal is reportedly in the eight figures, and Clark will also get her own signature shoe. So after the deal was announced, many pointed out that despite being a two-time MVP, two-time champ, finals MVP, and five-time All-Star, Asia Wilson, who's also with Nike, still doesn't have a signature shoe. Damn. But along with Wimby, Asia's getting a Nike Air prototype AI design. And less than 45 minutes after news broke of Clark's deal, Asia posted the following tweet. So Psalm 37.7. What up, YouTube? It's your boy, So Crazy TV, back with another video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell for more videos. In this video, we got Caitlin Clark, man. Everybody knows how great Caitlin Clark played in college. And then she got drafted number one to the Indiana Fever. But everybody is going crazy about her Nike deal. Even WNBA players are talking about it. So we're going to chop it up about that, man. And then I got Gilbert Arenas giving his take on everything. So basically... WNBA players hating on Caitlin Clark, man, and it's crazy because she's moving the needle, and she hasn't even played a game yet, so it's going to go down this year in WNBA. I know everybody's tuning in. Her jersey is already sold out. Like, it's crazy, and the viewership for the WNBA draft went up to 2.4 million, breaking the record of 600K viewers. Uh, it's crazy, bro. We're going to talk about everything. Let's get straight to the video. Before I watched it? 2.4 million viewers, yeah. Watched the draft? Uh, broke the previous high of 600,000. They wow. watched it. So you, I take it that you were Mind you, not. that record was when Diana got drafted. Who? Diana Taurasi? Mm-hmm. I see, somebody didn't know. Huh? Shit, more than double. I said, we asked last week who was going to have a bigger impact, Wimby or Caitlin. <laughs> Yeah. What are we talking about? Wambi? Nah. Did you just hear what the number? <laughs> what are we talking about, Kim? Kim Trapp didn't do no numbers like that. Do you know the Spurs went up $500 million just getting the number one pick? The franchise went up $500 million. I need the you to, I need you to think, I need you to no, think the fever, larger. Fever, I need you to fever's think Fever's franchise didn't even go up yet. I've been checking, trust me. Just, so we've it's got to a broader landscape. It, oh, it's going to. They it's already tried. The, when, when the Spurs got the number one pick and it was going to be Wimby, it went up 500,000. She's already drafted. Gil? Yeah. <laughs> we don't, we don't, <laughs> we don't, don't know, know that. We don't know that. Because of this young uh, okay, we we don't, don't, where's that fax? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Where's he the fax to that? Where's the fax to that? That ain't just because of Wimby. That might have been doing business. They were worth 2.8 before they got the number one pick, and then they're worth 3.2. She's moving a needle. Yeah. Mm. But is, she is. Which is happening. It's we're right literally watching it. We're watching it. In real Did you time. see her Nike contract she just got today? A lot. Yeah, we're going to get there. Eight figures. But let's t talk about <laughs> yesterday <laughs> first. So, <laughs> Caitlin had her... Uh, For her. So, <clears throat> more is going... You know, if somebody got to start. You know, Jordan, I know that. Jordan I had to start before I personally LeBron know. Everybody else started. Jordan them had to start it. Somebody had to start yeah, it. Yeah, so I'm saying. I know that. Oh, okay. My yeah. boy. On Wednesday, it was also announced <laughs> that Clark agreed to an endorsement deal with Nike... So the deal is reportedly in the eight figures, and Clark will also get her own signature shoe. Hmm. The day she got drafted, I would have already had a signature shoe ready to be produced. Mm. Let's sell it. Let's move. Mm. Let's, let's go right now. As yeah, soon as she got drafted number one, the next press conference, oh, this is my signature shoe in stores now, right there in real time. Because if it was LeBron, they would have been the shoe would have been. Is that what, what happened with LeBron? No, nope. nope. I would have learned. Is but that see, what that's happened what... with any of them? No. No. All right. So what are we talking about? No. What I'm talking about is they failed. Get it? No. They failed. How is it a failure? Because I'm. Th that you... has never happened before. I see what he's saying. There's a reason. If it never happened before, you can be the first one to do it in real time. Okay. Like, but people... Why does that? Why does it make us a failure though? I didn't get drafted. You said it. It's a fail. It's well, a fail gonna... on capitalizing in real time. How? Because it's right it there. Up? They can build it if, up. If there was a shoe to be bought yesterday, would people have bought it? Yep. Okay. That's all I'm saying. But if so, the shoe comes out tomorrow, are they still going to buy it? Are they going to have a shoe tomorrow? No, because they wasn't preparing for this. How do you know? Because do you have not, inside uh, scoop at Nike? Because I... No. Because, okay, I, I, when do you think the shoe's going to come out? I don't know. Okay. 
So after the if I was there, the shoe would have been out yesterday at the press conference. That's great marketing too. So of course, I know. So when Caitlin Clark got drafted, right, 2.4 million viewers tuned into it, and it broke records. The previous record was 600k back then, right? So Gill's talking about how Wemby has more impact than Caitlin Clark. Now, I'm not gonna argue that, man. I'm not gonna get into that, but. I don't like Caitlin's moving the needle for WNBA and Wimby is going to be the future in moving the needle for the NBA. Now the NBA is already up there. The WNBA is trying to get there. So with Caitlin Clark and you know, these other girls coming in, they're changing. This draft is going to change everything for the WNBA and they better capitalize. So that's basically what Gil's saying. Um, they better capitalize and they didn't capitalize on the shoe they should have had a shoe right there that's what gil is saying now her shoe she's having a shoe deal eight figures it dropped today i'm gonna have more info in this video uh but yeah man nike gave her a shoe deal now i have a couple of videos on that in this video but yeah man caitlin clark is moving the needle for the wnba she is definitely doing that we have never seen nobody like this uh she has a machine behind her facts and uh pretty much they're hating on her bro WNBA hating on her like Asia Wilson doesn't even have uh, a signature shoe yet like it's crazy and she's decorated and she's one of the she's the best WNBA player out right now and she don't have a shoe like it's crazy but now this next video right here is going to show that but but yeah, let's get into the video. Many pointed out that despite being a two-time MVP, two-time champ, finals MVP, and five-time All-Star, Asia Wilson, who's also with Nike, still doesn't have a signature shoe. Damn. But along with Wimby, Age is getting a Nike Air prototype AI design. In less than 45 minutes after news broke of Clark's deal, Asia posted the following tweet. So Psalm 37.7. Asia should absolutely have a shoe. But that doesn't mean Kaylin shouldn't have a shoe. And that's they not, should both that's have a not shoe. what we're saying. <laughs> they should it both have a shoe. It was ridiculous that Kaylin has a shoe. Oh. Kaylin should absolutely have a shoe. It's amazing. Asia Wilson should also have a shoe. She's There's the best a... player in the league, most accomplished, decorated, Olympian, two-time WNBA champ, national champion. Like, what are we, what are we doing? Y'all heard it right there, man. 45 minutes after the deal was released, Asia Wilson posted on her Twitter, Palms 37.7. Now, she's not hating on her, but she's pointing it out like, why I don't got a shoe? It's crazy that she don't have a shoe. She's decorated champion, multiple champion. Like, she's the best player in WNBA right now, and she don't have a shoe, but she's going to get a prototype. Now, Caitlin Clark is definitely moving that needle, bro. She's going to be one of the first people to start this off for the WNBA. Now, Nike gave her an eight-year deal, $28 million. That's crazy. And there was a total of four shoe companies that came to her. Adidas, Puma, Nike, and Under Armour. And they all had different prices or whatever, but she's definitely changing the game, man. She's changing the game. One of the front runners now, and she hasn't even played a WNBA game yet. Uh, like I said earlier, Jersey sold out, and I bet you every arena is going to be sold out when she plays. Uh, but yeah, man, four companies, man, Nike. Under Armour, Adidas, and Puma came out for Caitlin Clark, trying to get Caitlin Clark, and Nike grabbed her up, man. And also, we got to talk about this. Diana Taurasi came out and said that the rookie, Caitlin Clark, better get into reality because when she hits her rookie year, uh, we're, we're going to be gunning for her. That's basically what she said. Now, Diana Taurasi, one of the goats for WNBA, right? She's known for getting rookies, you know what I'm saying? Hunting down rookies. Now, Caitlin Clark's a different player. I've never seen a player like Caitlin Clark. Now, let's get into the video of Diana Taurasi, man. Let's check her out. Diana Taurasi has some thoughts on it uh, and let her, Caitlin and all the other incoming rookies know what they can expect when they come to the W. Uh, what will the league have in store for them when they get there? 
Look, SVP, um, <laughs> reality is coming. Okay. Uh, you know, there's there's <laughs> levels to this thing, and that's just life. We all went through it. Of course. Um, and you see it on the NBA side, and you're going to see it on this side, where, you know, they, you look superhuman playing against 18-year-olds, but you're going to come with some grown women that have been playing professional basketball for a long time. Not saying that it's not going to translate, because when you're great at what you do, you're just going to get better. But there is going to be a transition period where you're going to have to give yourself some grace as a rookie. And, uh, you know, it might take a little bit longer for some people. Y'all heard one of the goats, man. DT, Diana Taurasi, man. Been in the league for 20-something years, y'all. Now, Diana Taurasi ain't having it, man. She's known for the rookies, man. She's known for killing rookies. Y'all heard what she said, man. There's levels to this. Reality is going to check in. Now, the rookies are going to have to play, she said. She said, if you're great, you're going to translate. You're going to get better. But don't expect nothing great yet basically she's telling her work on your game it's easy to cook 18 19 year olds but when you come to the league with grown women it's not so easy basically reminding her of the transitions that rookies go through in the WNBA now man dog DT's a goat man and I feel like it's kind of hate I feel like she's kind of hating on her but at the same time it's like, you know, she's letting her know what's going to happen. But DT's one of the goats, man. She's going to go down as, you know, a Hall of Famer. She's decorated as well. So, but yeah, man, this is all I got on this, man. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Thank you for letting me reach 4,000 subscribers. Roll to 5K. I really appreciate y'all family, man. Y'all get in the comments. Y'all let me know, man. Is Caitlin moving the needle? Are these rookies going to move the needle this year? Is this going to be the change the WNBA needs? And also, are the WNBA veterans hating on these young WNBA players that's coming in? Y'all let me know in the comments. I appreciate y'all, and I love y'all, man. Roll to 5K. Let's get it. Peace and love, family.